I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for women's rights. Well, what do you have to say to the vast majority of women that don't approve of this? F those women. En este video parodia, el youtuber Abaken Wiz JP, de manera graciosa y realista, expresa su disconformidad con las leyes de su país que permiten que hombres compitan contra mujeres en deportes. En el video, él expresa con gracia datos objetivos que demuestran la enorme ventaja física que tenemos los hombres que podrían dejarla sin trofeos con suma facilidad. Mira el video completo y ríe un rato. Welcome to my gym, women only. <clears throat> Today is a good day for me. The court ruled I can compete in women's powerlifting. <laughs> Not on that one. Oh. And about damn time, they were only going to let me compete in the men's category. My gender assigned at birth, but the gender I assigned myself a couple years ago is female. They were violating my human rights, and they lost. Hey, USA Powerlifting, suck my d They said being a biological male would give me an unfair competitive advantage over other women. <laughs> Not even true. There is no difference between men and women. Then why do you think powerlifting has separate categories for men and women? It feels like you're being a bigot right now. Like, they think that men are stronger than women, and that's just misogyny. To prove to you that being a biological male doesn't give me a competitive advantage, just consider this. The women's world record for bench press is 457 pounds. The men's world record is over 1,100 pounds, and that's hardly any difference. There is nothing about me that's manlike. I'm just like any other woman. I don't know what's wrong with this thing, but it won't go in. Let me read the instructions again. This is the current world record in my weight class. It's what I warm up with. I can't wait for my first meet. I'm pretty sure we'll have a new record which will be quite the achievement for women. Some women have a lot of upper body strength. I'm a prime example of that. With USA Powerlifting, the court has ruled that the harm is in making someone pretend to be something different. And pretending to be something different from what I'm pretending to be hurts my feelings and puts me at violent risk of having to be what I am. Are you a woman? Yes. Can you tell me what a woman is? No. So you're certain that you're something that you're uncertain of? I can confidently say yes. <sighs> I spend a lot of time in the women's locker room. A lot of time. And when I'm in there, I am very observant. It's just who I am as a person. One thing that pisses me off about the women's division is some of those ladies are using performance enhancing drugs like testosterone, and that gives them an unfair advantage. Did you know that you have testicles that make testosterone and that gives you an unfair advantage? Uh, no, testosterone doesn't give you an unfair advantage. But you just said it does. Uh, but I was talking about them when I said that. <sighs> It is totally unscientific to say that men are stronger than women. Like, what are you basing that on? Like, the objective amount of weight they can lift? That doesn't mean anything. And even if there was a difference in strength, which there's definitely not, strength doesn't give you a competitive advantage in powerlifting. It seems like it might. No. I'm the new voice of women's powerlifting. Finally, the community has a voice worth listening to. Now that I've won the suit against USA Powerlifting, I've already got my next court case pending. I'm suing Jeff Bezos' bank. Why? Because even though I identify as Jeff Bezos sometimes, they weren't letting me withdraw large sums of money from his bank. 
They claim there's a biological difference between me and Jeff Bezos. Breaking down barriers to compete in women's powerlifting. I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for women's rights. Well, what do you have to say to the vast majority of women that don't approve of this? F those women. Los hombres tienden a demostrar una superioridad en términos de fuerza muscular en comparación con las mujeres debido a las diferencias hormonales inherentes. La testosterona, una hormona que se encuentra en mayores cantidades en los hombres, desempeña un papel fundamental en el desarrollo de la masa muscular. Como resultado, los hombres presentan una mayor masa muscular, lo que les confiere una ventaja en el aspecto de la fuerza en términos generales. Si bien es cierto que, algunas mujeres pueden superar a algunos hombres en cuanto a fuerza debido a diferencias en genética, entrenamiento y otros factores relevantes, un hombre entrenado puede socavar dicha genética, entrenamiento y otros factores con suma facilidad. Por ejemplo, Raleigh Gaines, una de las mejores nadadoras del mundo, comentó en cierta ocasión que su esposo, quien también es nadador y que a nivel competitivo él no está considerado ni siquiera como uno de los mejores nadadores del mundo, le superaba con suma facilidad, exagerando un poco, aún con las manos atadas. ¿Y tú, qué opinas? Déjamelo saber en los comentarios. Y aquí termina este video, si te gustó dale like, comenta y comparte. Asimismo, suscríbete a mi canal. Gracias, hasta luego.